Now we'll move on to ayah number 83. Mustafa Khattab uh, translates it. Uh, they ask you, O Prophet, about Zulqarnain. Say, I will relate to you something of his narrative. Surely we established him in the land and gave him the means to all the things. Means to all the things. Yeah, see, now we're going to have to uh, come uh, right on the top of the surah where uh, the, the whole uh, you know, context of this whole surah is the, the very mm -hmm. question. This is the question. Mm -hmm. Through which this this whole surah is, uh, you know, uh, becomes comes to life actually, mm -hmm. and uh, this is why we covered in the in the in the first chapter of the series that uh, these are the Jews which Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "But yes, Alunaka, these are the people who are asking you about what Zul who Zul Karnain is and what is what, what was the story of Zul Karnain." Now this is a very important story, and this is where we need to really really understand. Uh, how careful we have to be in terms of what <coughs> the Jews were all about, mm -hmm. what was going on. And uh, we should understand uh, uh, the whole motif of the whole Judaic uh, prophecies and their, their, their current world view. And actually, not just current worldview. They haven't changed their worldview. This is their classic rabbi. They're still talking about it. Yeah. Actually, yesterday, yeah. yesterday, uh, their top rabbi actually claimed to have uh, been speaking with the Messiah, which is uh, and specifically talking about Gog and Magog. Wow! This is something which is which I I, I you know which we better what did understand. He exactly. Say? Well, um, he specifically uh, there's an article in Israel today. Mm -hmm. It's not a it's a tabloid. It's in Israel today, and where he's actually talking about how uh, uh, the time of Messiah is just about there. It is going to be in our generation, and so on and so forth. And I didn't really get to read all of it because uh, I just came through it. I'm going to actually, you know, go through uh, the context in this video about what Jews are all about. But they're all about the the, the whole uh, story of Zulkarnain, and I'll I'll tell you why that matters because. If you look at what the Jews were up to uh, at the time of the Prophet uh, actually way before the time actually, uh, they actually settled in Medina for a reason. And that was the city where they were actually waiting for the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And this was not a small matter for the, the local uh, Arabs at that time because Jews were the only monotheistic religion at that time. Mm -hmm. Arabs were pagans. Yeah, These guys had a motive of settling in, the, in, in, in Medina. Why didn't they choose Mecca? Yeah, you know, or, or or what was so special that Salman Farsi was actually, you know, chasing the. If you read the story of Salman yeah. Farsi, he also ends up in 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 in, in Medina. In, uh, yeah, in Medina, even though he was sold off to a caravan. Yeah, yeah. but he was told by those uh, priests that priests, this is the yeah. right time for the prophet, and uh, so much so that they pinpointed the accuracy of what kind of city he's going to travel from and he's going to land into, and then. Um, uh, what was going to be his uh, name, literally the name. The priest actually told him the name and Talha, bin, uh, Talha, Talha uh, uh, was asked by uh, Usman uh, that uh, there's the sound I hear from the air that Muhammad is here. Wow. And uh, Talha says, let's, let's see what was uh, this all about because I actually uh, heard it from the priest that at the time of Muhammad is here. Do you know who Muhammad is? And uh, the Hatala says, no, I don't know who Muhammad is. Because they all knew Prophet Sallallahu as Ahmad. So, it, you know, this was something which is uh, so so amazing when you look at the fact that these Judaic and Christian books were uh, somehow pinpointing all of that. time. Now, in the current Bibles, we don't know what the time is. How did they run those numbers? Yeah, Not just the numbers, the geography. Why were the Jews? Yeah. Uh, what were the Jews doing in uh, in Medina? And uh, what's that got to do with uh, you know? Since the Prophet did not turn out to be their Messiah, mm -hmm. then why did they ask for uh, for the the, the story of Zulkarnain? You know, because if the Prophet didn't narrate the story, this is the story of Zulkarnain coming up right now. Yeah. No, then, then you know what was what's the whole big deal about not uh, you know giving baya and following the Prophet So the Quran says you know they recognize you as the father recognizes his son. They just you know they're too arrogant to actually accept that you know he, he the the Messiah 
in their books. Yeah. Uh, didn't come from their their, uh, lineage. their lineage yeah. and their tribes. So it's it's a uh, it's it's such an amazing uh, thing to understand what Zul Kanan was all about. To in from the the lens of those rabbis as well, in which we are going mm-hmm. to cover now, because somehow there's a there's a confusion here in the ummah. And the confusion is that when this says, uh, this ayah says, Inna makkanna lahu fil ardi wa atayna min kulli shayin sababa. This word is repeated in the, this ayah and the next ayah, fa'atba'u sababa. Yeah. Somehow the, the two words <coughs> have different meanings. If you read any translation of the world, you'll find out that this word is repeated with absolutely no change in con- connotations. So if you if you ask the local Arabs, they they too are, are making that uh, that translation or, or or what's the word uh, uh, comprehension out of this. Yeah. Why? I mean, this is this is so clear that uh, we have given him uh, means to everything. Means to makan ev- That means yeah. you know, or this art word is not yeah. this this planet. <coughs> yeah. This is this is a. This is a meaning which we can take that this planet, or yeah. we can take Arab. Because when yeah. if you look at, you know, I was watching this uh, Cassini mission uh, the other day mm-hmm. uh, when they actually uh, went and uh, you know went to the uh, the moons of Saturn and on the land of Saturn that was the last known image because it uh-huh. just blew up uh, in the atmosphere mm-hmm. of Saturn. The fact that uh, when you look at the moon or these moons or or, or, or all of those or those places. If I just show you a picture of all of those lands, no one in the world can actually tell the difference between our land and their land, or that land. Wow. Those are the same as rock formations, Mm. those are the same sort of sand and clay. Mm. Uh, Obviously, the atmosphere is different. And uh, the very fact that we have to call it land signifies that, you know, this is a basic psychology of the Quran as well. Mm. I'm not just referring to Surah Talaq. Yeah. The very fact that they are the whole terrestrial entity in the universe is called Al Arab. Okay, so I think we should make this point very clear that whenever in the Quran the word Al Arab is used, it can it it means land. Yeah, it means which land. Which can be this earth or any other earth. Yeah, okay. the context but is going probably to be in the context. Yeah. Yeah. But is there any specific word for this world yeah. in the Quran? What's it's that? Dunya. A dunya. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, ad dunya refers exactly to where yeah. we are living, but exactly. al ard can refer to anywhere, exactly right, depending on the context. Yeah. Well, in, uh, in uh, Surah Al Baqarah, Rabban Ati na fi dunya hasana, na fi al-akhirati hasana, na fi nawab al In yeah. Surah Al Mulk, Muzayyin al Sama ad dunya. Wow. This is the sky. Of this planet that we've adorned with lamps. With lamps, yeah. Yeah. This is this is actually this is such an amazing surah mulk is such an amazing way of actually understanding that if if it was sama al ard, sama al ard, then it would have locked and sealed the deal. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But since we know that the last heaven is going to be scrolled, mm. that means exactly. Yeah, and this also signifies. That the way we look at Saturn and Jupiter and all of those planets, it is it is not upon us to decide whether the horizontal linear way of looking at this this this, this sky, which in which there is Andromeda and you know all of the yeah. other galaxies and all the stars that we see, we assume that if we're going to go to Saturn, which of course they did, and they did take a picture of the Earth from Saturn, mm-hmm. it does look like a star. Mm-hmm. So. It is a natural assumption that uh, we share the same heaven, the first heaven, with Saturn and Jupiter and whoever, whoever we see. Yeah. Mm. Even though, if you look at carefully at the, this ayah, Muzayyana Sama Dunya, this, if we couple that with Rabban Adina fi Dunya Hasana fi Lakhrati Hasana, it clearly shows two different meanings. Huh. One is the fact that this these heavens could be also vertically aligned as well hmm. and we could be in a different heaven <coughs> than the heaven of saturn or any other planet mm-hmm. because the word dunya specifically means you know the life on this planet yeah 
or it could also mean and the second meaning would be that you know it is the same sky that we actually enjoy with whatever we can see because mm -hmm. the, the lamp mm -hmm. itself you know signifies there's a lock the mm -hmm. ceiling is set that you know what mm -hmm. this is because in Surah Ambiya, uh, I uh, one or four words when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we're going to sc scroll up the last heaven the first heaven yeah yes uh, that that means th the things that we see that's the meaning that we take. Yeah. That, that's the thing that we see because we connect it with Surah Mulk right, right there. And, yeah. you know, whatever the stars that we're going to, to see, they're going to be scrolled up, which yeah. makes sense because it's, it's in Hadith as well. Because yeah. in the Quran, the stars are going to fall down. Yeah. And uh, uh, this is a lot of misconception that a lot of, uh, you know, apologetic Muslims or, or, or you know, people, atheists say that, you know, when your Quran says that stars are going to fall on the ground, even the stars yeah. are real. Stars are going to fall on the ground is a problem if you do not take a lot of meaning as all the terrestrial planes. Yeah. And if you just start putting this word all earth on this planet earth, yeah. then yes, it is a problem. I don't know how the yeah. apologetics are answering it. Yeah. And the stars are going to fall down on the ground. Yeah. How, how do you actually comprehend this? How do you fit all the stars falling on yeah. the ground? Yeah. Stars are going to fall on the ground because whenever the star is going to blow up, it is going to convert into a ground. Yeah. And this is what, but a black when, hole also is. When a star collapses, it becomes a black hole. Or blows up, right? Yeah. Yeah. So and when it blows up, that's yeah. called a supernova. Yeah. So supernova converts what into what? Black hole. Different planets as well. Yeah, it gives away debris. Uh, uh, yeah, debris. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that. You know, that's that's rocks. Yeah. Okay. So it's all all al mm -hmm. See, star is also al ard. Mm. You have to understand that it's mm -hmm. all in the making, because mm. there are only two things: mm. sama and ard. Yeah. Anything which is not sama mm. is ard. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So there's a matter which we see is matter which is al ard, and then there's sama which could be dark energy or dark matter or 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 whatever, because it's not just space. Yeah, we know that. In yeah. the hadith, yeah. we know that too. Yeah. So not, let's, I'm not going to that level of complication right now because it is <clears throat> up for de debate all the time. But it is very clearly identifiable that uh, the al-ard meaning is all the the rocks that you can possibly see in these heavenly skies. Okay. And yes, there is a discussion that the the stars are only in the first heaven. Yeah. But there is never a word which says the earth is also in on just in first heaven. Yeah. So there could be a totally different ways of whatever the life is going about in other heavens on the planets because Jannah is also a plane. We know rivers and we know yeah. grass and we know the greenery and yeah. we know the, the Jahannam's uh, structure as well. Yeah. That's also rocks. Yeah. And, 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 you know, fields and meadows and everything. So it's also al ard. Yeah. So when we say that, uh, uh, there, there, there's this, uh, concept that this planet is al ard, then we create a very big quagmire of confusion. We have to really understand because it is going to matter a lot in Surah Kaf. Hmm. And this is why when the, the, this interpreter says, the, Semen, semen of Adam al Islam fell on Al Ard and it yeah. reacted. Yeah. And you know, Jajuj and Majuj came about. Yeah. So that is a totally different Ard. You know, yeah. you throw semen on this planet, only plant semen actually grows, which is, you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, which is, which is soil is very fertile for. Yeah. So how come this, this, this soil actually creates plants life? Yeah. Yeah, <coughs> that means there is a certain planet which creates human life. Yeah, human life or others, other other creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in Jannah we know that human being will be growing like plants. Yeah, uh, people, yeah. people. So that is the land. We know through Hadith that when the Jannim are going to com come, they're going to come through this. They're going to grow into plants, uh, uh, plants like uh, growth. That means Adam al Islam, sons, yeah, Jud Majud grew like that, and we can clearly see that in the Hadith. Yeah. But somehow we just spin around and, you know, we just don't want to talk about this. Yeah. Even though the Hadith is very clear about how people are going to grow like plants. That's exactly what Tabri Hadith is saying. That Adam semen fell in there, 
and they, you know, the Ayurveda just grew like plants. Yeah. Because when semen goes into earth, you know, if the earth had the capability, people are going to grow like plants. Yeah. So this is uh, this is a simple simple way of actually looking at it. It's such a complicated thing that we've created that Yajud Majuj came from Hawa. They literally are saying that, hmm. or some woman gave birth to Yajud Majuj. Hmm. Hmm. You know, this is yeah. this is a, a, a psychological construction of our own. Yeah. Even though the Hadith is saying there is no woman involved in this. Yeah. This is an earth of some sorts, and we yeah. also know through uh, Surah. Uh, if we know anything, we just know that from. Adam and Hawa, alayhi salam, uh, Habil and Kabil and those guys were born. Well, that's the first lineage, right? Yeah. Uh, the first born is actually equally. Yeah. But, uh, but that's something which happened on this planet <coughs> because that yeah. happened after he came here. Yeah. Or, or so when he, when he came here. So to assume an entirely different kind of creation came about from the same bloodline is... Anyway, it's difficult to understand. Yeah, well, like, naturally, it's going to be difficult. But how yeah. do we uh, uh, put our heads around the concept that human beings are going to grow like plants in the in, yeah. the, in the garden, right outside the garden of Jannah? Yeah. <laughs> how, how how do we actually you know settle this psychology? Yeah. Because it's Jannah. Then where Adam was not created on this planet. Yeah. He, 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 why are we putting every concept of earth do when you, it comes down to? Do earth? you remember there's this hadith which says that um, maybe someone here might remember the hadith which says that. Human beings will be, uh, when they will come out from their graves, they will actually be, um, be growing uh, yeah. from the coccyx, the, uh, the, the, the tailbone. Yeah. Tailbone, yeah. the tailbone, tailbone, yeah. 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 See, there's a lot, a lot yeah, of... There are long hadiths which states that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will shower rain. On this earth. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. For a certain amount of time, I don't know, one month, two months. Now after or even 40 years, but I don't really remember. And after that, the human will grow from their uh, tailbone, just like uh, plants grow from the seeds. Yeah. Even in this hadith, the words have been used like this, like like the way plants, plants grow, grow from the streets. Yeah, exactly. yeah subhanAllah. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's, that's, that's several. But there's that. too many, like, there are really clear, bigger things that we've just been suppressing. Yeah, we're, not been, even looking we're, at. we're just not looking at it on, by, by, on, by design. Yeah. By design. Yeah. And I can understand why the 1200 year old, not 1400, but 1200 year old scholars would do that because people. Yeah, might, they were, actually, yeah. People might not be ready for yeah. this. Yeah. But now we, we are because we have a lot more uh, comprehension of the bigger yeah. concepts. Yeah. So uh, coming back to this very concept, uh, when uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says uh, Adam al Islam was created by clay or earth, there's a certain word for that. That word is ham. Ham, yeah. You know, this is not a, that, that's a totally different sort of uh, word. Ham. Make sure you remember that because it's coming up in this surah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's, uh, uh, it's in surah Hijr. If you open surah Hijr, you'll find out this very clear word ham. Mm -hmm. That's a black clay. Even yeah. the current translation yeah. is black clay for that. That's okay. a totally different kind of clay. Mm -hmm. And that clay has a certain, totally certain, totally different kind of property. This clay does not have that kind of property. Mm -hmm. So we were not created from this dust. Mm -hmm. We were created from a, from ham. Mm -hmm. This is turab. Yeah. So you have to understand there is a, there is a totally different yeah. psychology we need to, to yeah. incorporate. Yeah. To understand a way bigger perspective of what what yeah. uh, what this uh, this was about to unfold right now. Yeah. So this word, make sure you remember this word ham, the ha meme ham, yeah. and surah hijr is clearly talking about this. Actually, in this in very surah, it the word is used uh, I think uh, two or maybe three times. Yeah. So uh, there is a there is a there is a it's about to come up. So the the world all has the psychology. We better understand the psychology. Jews have a history. We better understand that history. <laughs> And Jews wanted a Messiah who can have that sort of power. We yeah. better understand that's why they said Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this is something which is uh, why uh, we are talking about this. Since we covered that in the first chapter of this video series, yeah. of what the Jews' history was, did we? Yeah, did we, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. So let's just uh, use that. 
and we're going to talk a lot about the Jews now because this is all of this motive is about the Jal. So yeah, so there was actually a point that you had to make. Yeah, like I'm, I'm coming the, to the word is Sababa using yeah. Ayah number eighty four. Eighty four. Yeah, let's just Ayah number eighty five also says Sababa. The translation. Yeah, even I'm by to the that same now. people have been done differently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wa uh, ataina hu min kulli shayin Sababa. That does not really mean anything in the translation. Because when you read it, what's the translation you read? I have a totally different translation. Yeah, yeah, l- l- let me tell you what Mustafa Khattab, how he translates in both ayahs differently. So in first ayah, when he says, uh, Surely we established him in the land and gave him the means to all the things. Which says, Min kulli shay in sababa. And then the next ayah. So this, the, 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 the word that he's using is means here. Yeah, because kulli shay in is for everything. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. And in ayah number 85, when it says, Fa'at ba'a sababa. He same person Mustafa Khattab says so he traveled a course. So the word word means turned into course. All four translators that I have here they have translated this sababa in I number eighty five as a course or a road certain road. Yeah, but if you go under yeah. the previous ayah, if you can tell us, all four have said means means. Yeah, and uh, that really does not mean anything because yeah. what is what does that mean? Yeah. Means to well, what does that mean? Yeah. So if I say in anybody in English, you have you have means to everything. What does that mean? That you can say kun to that thing and it's going to convert anything? Because that's the psychology I get. When I yeah. say I have means to everything, yeah. that means I can shape anything into anything. Yeah. Or call anything to me. Yeah. Or go towards anything. Yeah, you have unlimited power to yeah, do anything. Yeah, so means to Resources, anything. Resources, everything. And so that means it doesn't really mean any specific, it does not draw a picture in my mind. Yeah. So they put a very Barnum word here. Yeah. It's a very general, abstract <clears throat> Barnum statement. Even if they're right, let's just assume it is right. Then how come the next ayah itself is contradicted by this very word? Yeah. Because to means is not atba'u. Yeah. You cannot use this 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 phrase if the, the word d- does not mean a, a way, yeah. a, a track, yeah. or, 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 or a passage, or a path. Yeah. Because fa'atba'u means you have to follow that, 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 that track. You're on the journey, on the course. Which yeah. is rightly translated in every uh, every every translation. So when when uh, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says "min kulli shayin sababa," I personally believe mm. that, and I believe because it, it makes a lot more sense in all of the contexts of Judaic, Zulkarnanic, in the historic, in the futuristic, the Jalik. In every little context, this word makes the biggest difference. Yeah, it changes the ball game from blacks. To super super ivory whites. This is how big of a difference. You're not going to be able to understand anything we're going to say if you do not put focus on this word. Yeah. And it took us what twenty episodes or fifteen? I don't know what episode we're doing right now to come to this word. <laughs> so make sure I'm not going to just wing it and just casually just pass by it. <clears throat> Sababa is a certain word. And we know, and I'm going to tell you why I believe it. Believe it. it's not just my opinion because the Tabai. If you uh, read uh, Zaid bin Aslam's commentary, he's a Tabai. He's, he's read this word directly from the Sahaba. He says that all the Sahaba used to wor- use this word Sababa as the pathways, which is in the next ayah. Yeah, pathways pathway. towards heavens. Yeah. And the the reference of this statement in is in what book Tabari? I I I don't remember, but let me just we'll paste it in the, in yeah, the yeah. reference. I have it written in my notes. Okay, good enough. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember the name of the book. I don't want to misquote <clears throat> it because it's so yeah. easy to pick it up. You can just uh, look it up what Zaid bin Aslam uh, Rahmullah says about what the Sahaba's direct psychology was about Sababa. Yeah. Now. We're going to talk a lot about this in the next uh, journey of uh, Zulkarnain. So, but the the real focus has to be on the crisp meaning of Sababa. Now, why am I taking this meaning? Just because Zayd bin Aslam said that was well, should have been enough, but that could be a fabricated daif uh, uh, commentary of Zayd bin Aslam. It's okay, we understand that. But the Quran itself used this very word hmm. in nine different occasions. Other than Surah Kaf, that's the most important. Quran important itself thing. uses Surah Kaf, which we'll, we're going to paste in the in the in the in the in the in the details of this video. It's nine different Surah Swad, Surah Hajj, Surah Ghafir, 
and uh, uh, many other. All of those nine occasions, the word sub, which is the root word of this, yeah. means ways to the heavens. Uh -huh. Somehow, when, when we use this word in this surah in two different times, we use the one time as the rest of the nine times. But the one time which it matters the most, yeah. it yeah. matters the most. In our number, uh, we 84. just yeah. somehow put it into means to everything or power over everything and so on and so forth. Uh, in, in, in Urdu, which we have a very big problem, especially for people in India, Pakistan and wherever Urdu sp is spoken or understood and there's so much literature. After Arabic, there's, in, in, Urdu is the, the first language of uh, Islamic literature after Arabic. So the problem in Urdu is, and I'm sure that's in Farsi, I didn't look it up, but you should look it up, that the word asbab in Urdu has a totally different psychology. It yeah. does not at all. No Urdu man can say asbab and his brain would be like putting a ladder that's going right. up to the heavens. Yeah. It's not possible. Yeah. And that's a problem that we're all suffering from. Because every Urdu translation you're going to read, you're going to find the word asbab there. But can it be like there are a lot of Urdu words which actually come from Arabic words. Uh, but then the, uh, one of the meanings does exist in Arabic dictionary for those words which we take in Urdu. Yeah, it so could is be, it but possible is that one of the meanings for the word sabab, sab or sababa is means also? Yeah, no, not sababa. Hmm. Asbab. Sabab does not have any no, other no, meaning. Asbab is in Urdu. Yeah. In no, no, Arabic. Asbab is an Arabic word in which Quran he also uses the word as, as Asbab. Oh, wow. Okay. And when so it we uses took asbab, this word directly as it is. Yeah, yeah. Okay. When the Quran uses yeah. the word Asbab in different uh, ayahs, uh, hmm. surahs, <clears throat> uh, it also uses for to, to be ways to the planets, uh, yeah, to the asbab. heavens. Yeah. Okay. That's very interesting. That's interesting. That's why I'm saying the Urdu man can never, ever, he does not have the power hmm. to construct a picture of ladder going towards heavens. You know the yeah. most famous ladder of Jacob in the yeah. Bible, in Genesis, yeah. when Yaqub al Islam dreamt that there's a ladder going towards the heavens and angels are coming down from that ladder. You know, that's the most famous uh, thing about the Bible when they talk about the ways to the heavens. They don't use the word asba because uh, that's English. I should look it up, uh, the Hebrew version, and you'll find out that a similar kind of word is used in the, for the dream of Jacob. Uh, Yaqub al -Islam, that he dreamt that there is a ladder going to the heavens and he's going to climb up and angels are coming up and down on that ladder. You know, so uh, since I was a child when I read that, so whenever I see Zulkana, I'm thinking of, you know, those ways going up to the heavens and, you know, so on and so forth. However, coming back to this, it is, it is not an impossibility that we're discussing here. It'll, it is going to make way more sense to understand what the Jal can and should be doing. And <coughs> as a Muslim, we already know that there are ways to heaven. Surah Marij says that. Yeah. We already know that. We know that uh, that's a physical way. We discussed about yeah. this. So why are, do we have to to be so stringent in not going that way? Mm. That way? Mm. Mm. Even though the Quran says that, Sahaba say that, it's all right, we understand that. But why are we so stringent here that yeah. we're not going to take that meaning. Yeah. That's the case they have to prove. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We don't have to prove this case because the Quran, and we're backing up this, this very root word yeah. and this very word by the Quran <coughs> and the Sahabas. If someone else is taking this word in a totally different meaning, then they better prove it as to why they're actually taking it. And they better corroborate that for, from the, uh, the testimonies of the Sahaba. The, uh, at the least, nobody else matters now. Yeah. yeah, because this is in an argument which is we have the sahabis on our 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 bench. They better put a few sahabis on their bench to just uh, try and talk about this. Otherwise, uh, all of the translations of the Quran right now, currently, you <coughs> better make that change and bring it back to the original psychology of the sahabis. I would want to make a point here, like even if you read uh, Tafsir ibn Kasir or either, uh, other Tafsir. Uh, of the ayat which talk about the astronomy or cosmology or uh, planets and stars and things like these uh, you will always see that uh, there are a lot of this kind of stuff about which we do not find any hadith clear hadith so the so the mufassirun uh, they have used 
the knowledge of their times to trying to explain those realities and there are too many of those ayat in the Quran which have which are left open for the interpretation uh, for the people to come so um, I'll reiterate Sahil's point that this is also a question to the scholars also that what stops us uh, uh, from taking a different meaning to the things uh, which have been left open for interpretation like which don't even have anything to do with our basic aqidah or the ibadat uh, yep. inshallah okay <clears throat> so um, I'll repeat those two ayat to move on to the next one uh, they ask you O Prophet about Zulkarnain say I will relate to you something of his narrative Surely we established him in the land and gave him the means to all the things. Uh, so we can say like if we put in the yeah, let's just put translation the, the, the sababa like uh, from the next ayah which says so he followed up uh, on a certain road. So we can put it in ayah number 84 like this. Uh, Surely we established him in the land and gave him the pathways to everything. To everything. Then uh, so he followed up another means. <laughs> ayah number 86 says until he reached the setting point of the sun which appeared to him to be setting in a spring of murky water where he found some people we said O Zulkarnain either punish them or treat them kindly would you like to yes please here? <laughs> yeah oh so, my god yes we now, remember poor. surah hijr surah hijr we, uh, hijr we talked about uh, the clay which was used to make adam <clears throat> alayhi salam <laughs> what was the word for it ham ham yeah okay now I want to read this in Arabic so that you can understand where I'm coming from. Hatta iza balaka maghrib ash-shamsi wajadaha taqrib taqrabu taqrabu fi aynin hamiya 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 is the same word ham yeah okay yeah now when we know that uh, uh, the word ham is used for Adam al Islam yeah and this is the same word hamiya yeah now i'm going to come to ain the ain in hamiya yeah, yeah. ain also it's means not just so, ham it's ain too, yeah. yeah ain in hamiya <clears throat> ain also means uh spring yeah water water yeah. spring of water fountain or even i yeah and ain also means i yeah the eye yeah so when we say fountain of water hmm. we have to put black water black murky muddy water yeah 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 now we know that the sun does not set in a muddy spring. In a muddy spring, we know that. Yeah. But we just put that here so that we would put it from a Zulkarnain's perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Now Zulkarnain is uh, the person who has been given the power over all the land. Yeah. Ways to yeah. everything. No, yeah. no. Yeah, let's just assume that this is the classic translation. Yeah. Okay. He's on this land. Yeah. If he's on this land, because this ayah, ayah eighty-five, it says Fa'at ba'u sababa. If we don't take the ways to going towards heavens, then we are going to have to take some ways on this planet. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> as a Pakistani living in Islamabad, I see the sunset. I would know that the sun is not setting on my neighbor's rooftop. Yeah. You know? It's full of black mud. No, no even if whatever it is, whatever, whatever it is full of. <laughs> I would know if I go to the rooftop, I'm going not, I'm, I, I know, I don't have the power of the land and I still know that whenever I see the sunset, it's not setting 7,000 yards from my eye. Yeah. <clears throat> I know the sun doesn't, I, I'm, I'm just from, 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 from a tiny little place in the, uh, on, the, on the planet. Assuming that Zulkarnain was just a villager who had never crossed his village, mm -hmm. would still know mm. that the sun is not setting inside anything. Yeah, on this planet, like we don't even need any science for this. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People it's a common sense it thing. For, People knew it from day one. The sun is not setting, even if they thought that the sun set. sets in some sea. Let's just assume that. Yeah. Because America was not discovered that time, yeah. so some oceans were taken up. Pacific was taken up, yeah. and Atlantic was setting it in. Yeah. Because that's the, the the current map without yeah. Americas. Yeah. Without the two Americas, Atlantic to Pacific is the from Japan hmm. to Spain, Japan yeah. to Africa. Yeah. Okay. So since a lot of scholars put Zulkarnain right dead center in Armenia and you know make him travel left mm -hmm. and right. Mm -hmm. Now the two, there's two things here. Hatta is a balaga maghri ba shamsi wajadaha taghrubu taghrubu fi aynin hamia. Now it does not say maghribul 
Uh, it says Maghrib al-Shams. It does yeah. not say Maghrib al-Ard. Yeah. You have to understand yeah. that. Yeah. There is a totally different meaning of Maghrib al-Ard. Yeah. The west of the sun. Yeah, it says west, west of the sun. Side, side of the sun. Yeah. Okay, but... By the way, Dr. Ghali here says the western part of the then known world. Yeah, but it doesn't say that, right? Yeah. <clears throat> now, the only root word of uh, Gharaba means the destruction, the end. That's the only word that we can take and most of the scholars do take that. Otherwise, it is the west part of the sun. Maghrib <laughs> Yeah. 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 Maghrib itself... Yeah. When we say Rabbul Mashriq or Rabbul Maghrib yeah. uh, in Surah Muzammal, yeah. we know that Rabbul Mashriq means the Mashriq of the earth. Yeah. Even though I don't believe that, but people take that. All yeah. the scholars take that. Mashriq means the eastern, eastern part of the planet. Yeah. And Maghrib means the western part of the planet. Yeah. But when it says Maghrib al-Shams. Maghrib al-Shams is not spoken. We don't yeah. say Maghrib al-Rabbul Maghrib al-Shams yeah. or Rabbul Maghrib al-Mashriq uh, al-Shams. Yeah. 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 It just says Rabbul Mashriq or Rabbul Maghrib. Yeah. Here when it says Rabbul uh, Hatta is a Balagh al Maghrib, Maghrib al Shams, that means that the word Maghrib would be taken as the destruction hmm. or the end. Hmm. And a Shams would be the, the, the point where the sun is going to end. Hmm. The sun is going to finish. Hmm. Hmm. Otherwise, if you say, no, no, that's the western part of the world. It doesn't say Maghrib al Yeah, it says Maghrib Why are you taking it from, from, from <clears throat> you know, from so Japan to, 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 to Spain? Yeah. That's the two ends of the, the, yeah. the then, then known world. Yeah. It, it should have said, Hazza is a Balagh al Maghrib. Yeah. Then yeah, I could say, yeah, I know yeah. that's exactly yeah. what the Quran yeah. says. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whenever it says West or East, exactly. it Hatta is a Balagh al Maghrib. Al -Maghrib. Would mean like, Would until mean he re reached the West. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the West. But it says, Hatta is a Balagha Maghrib Shams. It means a totally different way of looking yeah, at this. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> by the way, there is this discussion in Tafsir ibn Kasir on this ayah. Although ibn Kasir has rejected yeah, this yeah. interpretation, he says that there are certain people who believe that it's a western part of the sun. Yeah. Some west of the sun, our star. But he says that, it uh, cannot be understood and should be rejected. I, I, understand I don't why remember exactly what that, words he said. No, but, but we yeah. have that IQ developed now. Yeah. That we can. Now that they didn't have IQ, they, they knew yeah. that the audience is not going to. Yeah. They're going to start ridiculing the Quran or something. Yeah. It was a very good decision they took. Yeah. Exactly. Let the, the world come to light to, yeah. to, to, through our means. Yeah. But we now know that. Uh, uh, let's, let me just give you a very layman, layman example. Now sticking the same can make. People laugh on this now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. Now the, the, the ridicule is going to come if we don't uh, evolve out of the psychology of that specific audience. Yeah. And go back to the psychology of the Sahaba. Because Sahaba were not afraid of anything. They were just saying it because that's the message they got. They did not care. Yeah. They were just stating it the way they're, they're, they're yeah. listening it from the prophet system. Yeah. Now. Just like Abu Bakr. Yeah, exactly. He did not have to make a... Uh, explanations or anything he didn't have to come up with anything he just said mm -hmm. he said my friend traveled he must have traveled yep so maghrib shams means the west of the sun or the destruction of the sun the destruct uh, the finishing point of the sun yeah now let me just give you an example so that you understand how simple it is or how complicated it is going to become if you don't take this meaning if a space shuttle just takes off from the planet and it goes towards the moon Mm -hmm. Can we, by any compass, attribute whether it's going east or west? No. No. Just going vertical, straight up. Yeah. So, no, but we can actually reference it from the planet. Uh, yeah. Setting on the ground, north, yeah, yeah, it's moving towards. It's moving towards the west. Yeah. That would be preposterous for us to say yeah, the shuttle is moving west. Yeah. The west that we take is on this terrestrial plane. Yeah. That shuttle is not moving west. Yeah. We just think it's moving towards our west because that's where we're standing. Yeah. The Quran yeah. does not speak like this. Hmm. So when you're in space, 
you cannot go east or west hmm. unless you are really aware of what the universe structure is all about. You know, <laughs> yeah. you know, Rabbul Masharik or Rabbul Mukhtar. Yeah. Allah can say that. Yeah. And that's the most beautiful part about yeah. Rabbul Masharik and Rabbul Mashrikain. Yeah. Because only Allah can tell us of where the Mashrik of universe is and where the Maghrib of universe is. Yeah. We are too tiny yeah. in a small, tiny little planet for yeah. us to claim of what Mashrikain or Masharik would actually mean. Yeah. This is the biggest argument of how grandeur this ayah becomes of Rabbul Masharik. Yeah. Because only someone who can look at it from the way I'm looking at this, that this is the left of the cell phone, yeah. this is the right of the cell phone. Yeah. Exactly. Any little virus inside this cell phone, on the skin of this yeah. cell phone, would yeah. not be able to know its way around left, right. It is going yeah. to talk about that little sp uh, the spot on which that virus sits. Yeah. yeah. So this is how grand is Rabbul Masharik and Magharib. And this is what it means by Hatta is a balaga, balaga al maghrib al shams. Mm. That means when, as soon as he took off, he cannot go east or west. He just went to the point which is Taqarabul shams, which means uh, maghrib al shams. Ending point of the summer. where the sun is going to actually set, mm. and we know where it's going to set. You know where that is? Yeah. Every sun, every star. every sun. Mm. Where we call as our sun, oh, okay. uh, star is sun. So every sun. Yeah. Sets at either its own black hole yeah. or some black hole is going to be sucked into. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's the two things that happens to every sun or star. Yeah. So, we now know where our sun is headed. Yeah. And we've seen that black hole. Yeah. So, that's a very easy meaning to, to derive out of this because there's another proof of that coming up right away. That he went to the uh, we can now even know, we know where this, 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 we know the exact name of the black hole now, uh, where the sun is actually running towards. Yeah. Now we know that. We know the trajectory of the, the sun. Yeah. And sun. Where is it heading towards? I, is, I, it, I, is it heading towards the center of the Milky Way? It's on the center of the galaxy. No, no, no. There's a name. I, I, no, no. We, ha we have a bl black hole in the center of Milky Way as well, right? In our yeah, galaxy. Yeah, so, yeah, every galaxy has that. So, is our sun... Heading towards that one or the one we discovered? Because the one we discovered is in. Oh, no, is no, that's not a totally different galaxy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah exactly. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes, that's yes, a totally different. Yeah. yeah, that's why. Yeah, so that's actually the closest black hole, I think, other mm -hmm. than our galaxy. So the, the real question is uh, if he's going towards that, how is he yeah. breathing and how is he, he is he living and how are they? Because you know, astronauts cannot yeah. live without a suit. Did yeah. he have a suit? Uh, was he on horses or was he on shuttles? Yeah. We are too bound by our laws of physics right now. Yeah. And that's the laws Allah is breaking in Ayah 44. Yeah. That Allah is saying, we gave him power on all the terrestrial planes. Yeah. You know, we established him a king over all the terrestrial planes. Mm. That mm. is where this astronaut and science and air, no air, vacuum, no vacuum, all of this is... Finished. Sababa means a portal through which you can travel. And yeah. inside that portal, just like Maharaj, human beings either can travel in a matter of seconds yeah. or even if it is taking time, it is a totally different way of travel. These are yeah. gateways. Yeah. Which is written about for thousands and thousands of years of, for different uh, civilizations and people and known names. Uh, from Idris al Islam as Muslims yeah. to uh, all of those creatures that used to travel in and out of the planet and so on. We cannot go in detail yeah. here because we're going to be coming up in a lot of detail. So, Zulkarnan took off from this planet. By the way, one thing we missed out on Zulkarnan means two horns. Yeah. And when you look at that, that, <clears throat> that wormhole that opens in the space, it's like a tornado. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Even though tornado has a has a ceiling, so when we look at a, a little uh, spiral going up, it looks like that the big wide opening is too big, yeah. and it tapers down into a little point. Yeah, it becomes a horn. Horn. Yeah. So it can easily mean that those people could see all of those ways that uh, or that he uses, and there are two ways in that those two horns are 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 are, are the reason why he's called Lukanen. So why um, would they only see two horns? Maybe they just this this the two times he used it. Maybe I don't know. I'm just saying that it's very easy for mm. for us you know, after we know that he travels like this mm. to to understand that you know people used to see that as well. Mm. People could see those mm. when he used to open that 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 uh, that path. 
Mm. People could see that, you know, different uh, shapes mm. uh, or all the army walking mm. towards mm. Uh, that path and going in and disappearing. Mm. It is so easy if you read. Some it. have mentioned uh, in the tafsir that uh, he used to wear the helmet with the two horns. Yeah, well, I'm just saying okay, that. Or that probably Zulkarnain was of a species who had real horns. Could be, or, or, or could be he had those two pathways. Yeah. Uh, that 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 you know people used to know him for hmm. uh so uh, and you know he could be an angel for all you know we don't know that he's not an angel yeah he I could be the king of angels because omar al-khattab said yeah, one of the sahabi yeah yeah omar al-khattab uh, there's a there's a there's a child born in arab at the time of omar al-khattab and somebody named him uh Karnain, and omar al-khattab yeah. says that uh did we run out of uh, human names that you picked out the name of an angel? Yeah. Why do you think he called him an angel? Because yeah. Sabah knew that, you know, Sabah was, uh, the yeah. he was traveling around yeah. the heavens. And this traveling could be done only by angels. Could be. No, but like like most, most famously. But you wouldn't be a jinn in that perspective if you were talking about horns particularly. Could be. But the yeah. point is, that actually further signifies or strengthens the word Sababa. Sababa, yeah. It strengthens. Yeah. But even if you put them, put him as human beings, yeah. uh, all of those people who were following Lukanen, then <laughs> still it does not weaken this word Sababa at any level. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so hatta iza balaga maghrib shamsa wajda hatta gharbu, taghrbu fi ain in hamia. That means that when he went close to that ain in hamia, that eye-shaped black mud. Yeah. Because we're really stretching it out here when you're pulling the sun down in a murky water, a black water on this yeah, planet. Yeah. Now, I do believe that every star sets in a black mud. I believe that. Mm. We've seen that. Yeah. So, why do we have to put water? And I also believe that there could be water there. Yeah. Because the Hadith is all over yeah. the, 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 the universe. There's so much water. The Arsh of Allah is on water. Between heaven is water. We know that. All the planets and stars are floating, floating on, on water. water. Yeah. And since water is between the two heavens and the only pathway between these two heavens is a black hole. So that means water could be in black hole. Ainun Hamiya, even if you use it as spring of water, it yeah. could still be there. Still be the black hole. Yeah. yeah. So by, by the way, the re even the recent photograph of the black hole, even that looks like a very, very like an Ain. Like an, it uh, is an, an eye. eye. That's why yeah. that the current black hole is Ain in Hamiya. Black yeah. mud black. with eye shaped. Yeah. Black mud. Yeah. Ain in Hamiya. Yeah. Why black mud? Black mud is the actual meaning of the word in Surah Hijr. If you use Surah Hijr in Adam's creation, Ham. Yeah. yeah. Hamin. Yeah. Hamin means the word, the black mud through which Adam al Islam is created. And that black mud is. Why do you think they're using black murky water? Because yeah. Hamiya means black mud. Black, yeah. Yeah. Black yeah. mud. So now, let's just assume all of this is wrong. And everything about the, the fact is true that sun actually sets on this planet in a black mud. Mm -hmm. Then we really are in a lot of pickle because <laughs> then we got a problem with those satellites revolving around <laughs> the planet. And uh, a lot more is going to go wrong. <laughs> a lot more. Yeah, I'll tell you why. Because I want the sun to set on this planet. I'm one of those guys. I'm one of those Muslims who wants the most strange things to happen and coming out from the Quran so that only the believers will believe in the Quran. Yeah. You know, I'm one of those guys. I really hate it when science says, oh yeah, we found something that the Quran is like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I want it to be so extraordinary that only the believers will come near this book. SubhanAllah. You know, the more science is going to try and come closer to the Quran, the lesser our iman is going to be on the Quran. Yeah, you know it's why? getting because easier to believe. Yeah. No, that's the word. It's not belief then. Logic yeah. and belief is not the same thing. Yeah. Belief is when the logic is against it. Or yeah. there's no logic around it. There's no logic. Mm -hmm. Or against logic. Yeah. The belief in faith is the antonym of logic and rationale. You have to understand that. When the mm -hmm. Prophet ﷺ had all, all the prophets, which are prophets, Siddiq Nabi, when they took their belief to such a level, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you know what? Now you've done whatever no human beings could do. So I'm going to give you something which is a gift. Which yeah. is Ayn al-Yaqeen. Yeah. 
you know so yeah. he, he showed him the bigger signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he showed his, his bigger signs to those prophets who rose their belief or built it to a level where you know we we we, should, we better be we better be on that track yeah. because then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed them things which no science could possibly explain and you know like sidratul muntaha and the Nile and the Farad flowing through the bottom and the yeah. seven heavens and the rock and angels and what not. Yeah. After the belief was at, yeah. its, at its maximum peak a human beings can have. Yeah. So, so it's, it's something which I, 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 wanna, I want the sun to set on the planet, but the Sababa word is not letting me. Science and satellite, I don't care. The word Sababa is not letting me believe that the sun is setting on this planet. Yeah. Because he did go up to the heavens, to the pl- point where uh, Maghrib al-Shams is, yeah. close to it, in the ha, not inside the black hole, it says, wa 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 he found him in the ha, Kaumun. in the ha, Kaumun means close to that. He found a, he found a planet wow. where their people are living. And um, I think we covered Ayn Hami enough uh, yeah. to... Black hole is the black mud. Everyone in science calls it black hole. Uh, no, it could not be because Hamiya means black. That's it. Black mud. Yeah. Okay. Now the problem is current. Uh, uh, the current version of the, the the translation is that the sun sets in the black water. Yeah. And since Zulkarnain just was at a seashore somewhere by the end yeah. of his uh, yeah. journey, so he just uh, saw it. Uh, going into water. Yeah. Now, assuming that he was on the bank of some 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 sea. Yeah. If you stand on the the seashore. Yeah. That's a lot of distance between the sunset yeah. and you. Yeah. So you cannot be calling it. Oh, I saw you guys close to the sunset. No, no. Yeah. You saw it close to the the, the seashore. <laughs> to the, the shore. The sunset yeah. Yeah. was was uh, miles and miles and miles away. Yeah. There is no planet uh place on the planet where we can say, hey, we met. On the place where the sun is setting. No yeah. human being can say that. Yeah. We can meet at sunset, which is the time of the sunset, <laughs> yeah. but not on the sunset. Yeah. Or yeah. in the sunset. So that's a totally different phrase. It's a wrong phrase to use here. Now, well, Allah, of course. So the real question is, uh, he's found uh, 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 the sun setting in the black murky water. And some people have gone to such an extent calling it the Black Sea. The Black Sea. Black Sea or the Red Sea is not red or black. The blue water. Baharul Ahmar is not red. It's blue. I think these ones are probably from Indo Pak. The Red the, Sea? Those those who call the Red Sea. Yeah, least. those are yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the, <laughs> Arabs the, the, probably won't Arabs, do this. I don't think Arabs would call it uh, that it was setting in the Black Sea. That's the difference of the inferior psychology of the Urdu speakers like us. So, the Black Sea is not a black reservoir of water. Yeah. The sun did not set in the Black Sea, or even if it did, that's not why it's, it's called the Black Sea. Okay. And the Black Sea is called B- Black Sea by the Europeans. Yeah. You have to understand that it's a localized name there. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> the the Red Sea or the only real name of the, the seas that we've given to the seas is the Dead Sea, which yeah. has a rational word, Dead Sea, because the salt yeah. uh, content is so much that there is no life in that. Yeah. So the Dead Sea is called the Dead Sea, but the Red Sea is a Blue Sea and the Black Sea is a Blue Sea. Yeah. So that's not black water. And yeah. I know, I know, of course, now everybody knows, there's so many scholars who keep yelling it out that it was a black sea. Look, the black water. That's not murky. That water is not murky. Black yeah. sea is a regular sea. Yeah. That's not muddy. That's not murky. And there is no sun setting in the black sea. Mm. And if Zulkarnan had all the power on all the planet, mm. he should have known that uh, the black yeah. sea has a totally different edge yeah. and the sun is still going on. Yeah. There's no sun setting yeah. inside the Black Sea. Yeah. So, uh, again, most at best what the scholars have done is that they've given it a metaphorical meaning that, mm. you know, it was, you know, 
it's a figure of speech. Yeah. He just saw the sun setting close to and yeah. a one hour commentary I was reading that when the sun is setting in water, see, it looks like it is murky and black. Yeah. What kind of sunset have they been watching? No, this? no, no. It, it does look like that. Yeah. Where? There, there are certain, even certain paintings like that. There's a time uh, where it's like very close to the, the, the point where the sea is touching the horizon. At that point, there comes a time when it looks like muddy or even black. There's a spot that comes right in front of the sun. You can have the farthest place Google. from the sea then, from the seashore. I mean, whatever it is, but that's how it looks. Well, so there is a possibility that it does. I, okay, I, I believe you. Yeah. I want to believe you. Yeah. No, no, no. What I'm trying I, to say is that that's the, where those the phrase people came from. at that time tried their best to give an interpretation that made sense to them and the people of their time. I want to believe you, but I doubt if that's what they were trying to do. So they were trying to fool us? No, they yeah. actually believed it. They actually believed it? That yes, that part of the thing is black and that's yeah. where the sun sets. No, no, no. When you read Tafasir, they don't fix it to a certain meaning. They always say, this guy says this, this uh, some of us don't say this. Well, those I'll tell you why I disregard those. Because Sahaba didn't believe that. Hmm. And that's the only way to understand what the Quran is. Hmm. So, what understanding of a Sahabi do we have about this? The Sahabi says that Zulkarnain tied his horse to the star. That's fine. That's fine. About Hain and Hamid. That's why. What do you think we were talking about? He hmm. said that. And Kabin uh, uh, al Ahbar. Yeah. al Ahbar says that Zulkarnain went <laughs> up to the star. <laughs> yeah. And that's where he was. He even named the star Suraya. Yeah. 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 That's probably serious. I think. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. see. That's the. It's not, not matter what whether it's weak or yeah. strong. What matters is it is from fourteen hundred years ago. ago. If it, even if it's a, is, uh, is not trusted in uh, But was he fourteen hundred years ago? Yeah. So that's all we need to know that the psycho yeah. psychology. Why did he come time? up with this wrong hadith? He did could he, have said anything else. Yeah, he didn't read Hawkins or Einstein or Newton. He just came up with this theory. Really. And if he did, did come up with this theory, that puts us right into the context that he, you know what Kaaba al Akbar is known for? That he was so inspired by the Israeliyat, the Judaic philosophies. Yeah. Now, <laughs> listen to this very carefully. Kaaba yeah. al Akbar is a very important name for me. You know why? Because he's my doorway into what Jews are up to in terms of what their philosophy is, not what their plans are. And those very Jews with that very Israeliyat, Come to the Prophet and says, recite to us Zulkarnain. So Kaab and Abar comes to life here. Yeah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, they want to know Zulkarnain? I'll tell you. Otherwise, yeah. if it were not such an important thing, Allah was like, they are just coming up with some, you know, yeah. uh, anecdotes and tantrums. Yeah. Tell them, you know, assalamu alaikum. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens. Yeah. But yeah. this is such an important thing. That it comes into Surah Kaf and the Dajjal and the Dajjal connected to Jews, Jews connected to Israelia, Israelia connected to Kaab al Ahbar, the trail is perfect. Yeah, and by the way, even if uh, Kaab bin Ahbar is like uh, not trusted in the narration of the hadith, but if you read the character or the behavior of Kaab bin Ahbar regarding these kind of ayat, that's really amazing. He would be, he was so excited every time these kind of ayat were uh, read to him. Yeah. He would be very excited, you know, and he would say, yes, it makes sense because I heard something like this or there was something like this in uh, Israeli or some things like that. So it means he had a very vision that was too broad for that time. Or he had a psychology which was a Not limited Judaic to psychology, thing, yeah. psychology. Yeah. And that Judaic psychology <clears throat> gave us Surah Kaf, by the way, if they had not asked this question. <laughs> We would not have to the calf. So that psychology is well respected in the in the in the you know in the court of Allah. Hmm. He answered a question of people. Or maybe that's the reason he was not trusted because he was talking something that was not actually comprehended by the No no no, no. he was he, I'll tell you why he was not trusted. It's very clearly written that he was too inspired by Israeliat yeah. and that's the only case against him. Because he was an uh, he was a a Jewish Jew scholar. He was a scholar in Jewish uh, tradition. So that's why I treat him as a gateway towards Surah Kaf. Because he's the one who, whose psychology 
we can reverse engineer it into why you were kept on asking Madhul Karnay from the Prophet. Yeah. It's such a perfect trail. Yeah. So, they said, O oh, Zulkarnain, yeah. we, uh, what Either translation you did you have? Form, this, yeah. It says, uh, where he found some people, we said, O oh, uh, Zulkarnain, either punish them or treat them kindly. Yeah, because there's no, no, no detail of any kind. So why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talk about a nation which he didn't give us any detail of? There's yeah, a yeah. big, big, Even big. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has skipped the word Ard. He could have used it for us. But there is no mention of Ard over there. Just close to the Ayin Hamiya. Yeah. Or Turab or, or anything. Yeah. Or Dunya. Yeah. So the, 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 the real sensical thing to look at this ayah, to the angle, to look at this grand ayah is <laughs> that Allah is talking about a nation and he just hints it as if this nation doesn't is not important enough. Why would Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala do that? Because this, the point of this ayah is not those people. The point of this ayah is where those people are. That's why they're mentioned. Yeah. That there yeah. are yeah. people, there is a creation near, besides. Yeah. And in Hamia. Yeah. That's it. Because look at what the, this ayah, what these, these people are talking about. What, what, what did the people, uh, what, what happened to these people? Uh, he responded, whoever does wrong will be punished by us, then will be returned to their Lord, who will punish them with a horrible torment. That's a general rule. Yeah. So this is not the point of the, these two ayah. The point of these two ayah, Allah, of course, is the placement of these people in yeah. the trajectory of Zulkarnain. Yeah. So that's, that's what, what's the best part about this ayah. Let's just go on uh, further. Okay, so j just to summarize from the, from the point where the story of Zulkarnain started. So the, he was asked about the question. He said, let me tell you something about Zulkarnain. Zulkarnain was given a pathway towards everything. And then it says, Fat Sababa. So then he followed a path uh, which could lead to another world or dimension or another sky. And there, then he... Um, reaches a point on the western side of the sun which says or the point of the destruction of the sun or the ending point of the sun uh, which is uh, and uh, towards the uh, Ainin Hamia, a black hole and near the black hole beside the black hole he meets these people and then this is the conversation which takes place between those guys and he says them whoever does wrong will be punished by us then will be returned to their lord who will punish them with a horrible torment okay i am number 88 now <coughs> As for those who will believe and do good, they will have the finest reward and we will again assign them easy commands. Uh, Dr. Ghadi says, then he will have as a recompense the fairest reward and we soon will say to him, off our command, seize. Okay, that's very confusing. Amrina Yusra. Yeah, yeah, Amr means command and Yusra good, is easy. Good. Okay. Yeah, so see, that's that's uh, that's something which is yeah. uh, which is uh, uh, pointing towards, yeah. you know, so the like there's no not enough detail about these no people. Absolutely, no detail. Yeah. That's the point of these ayah that we're not giving you detail of what actually was going on yeah. with those people and or 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 what happened to those people. Yeah, yeah. We don't know what happened to those people. Yeah, but because it's a general rule, Zulkarnain says says <laughs> people are doing good will be rewarded by good. People who are actually yeah. you know, aggressors will be. Uh, punished punished to, uh, according after, to yeah. what they, that's the rule. We all know that. So the real, the the, the real, you know, beauty of these three is the the Aini Hamia and Maghrib uh, Shams. Okay, okay. From here he takes another portal. Uh, sorry, uh, Ayah number eighty nine. He says Sababa. So then he traveled a different course. Now he's on the uh, another pathway. Yeah, he's on the same pathway in a different direction because he's going to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to tell us where he's going because okay. he's still in the Sababa at this time. Okay. Um, Hatta idha bala matla isha, matli uh, Ayah number 90. Uh, until he reached the rising point of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no shelter from it, from the sun means. Do you want to make a point? 
Yes, yes, because uh, I have a different translation. Uh, Dr. Ghali says, until when, uh, when he reached the rising of the sun, he found it rising upon a people for whom we had no, not made a screen there from. Yeah. Now, let's just uh, talk about this. Uh, this is uh, going to be taking uh, a long... Can, can we cover this in this episode? Uh, this T2 Aya? I think... Uh, we covered this, this this journey till we hit uh, the Yajur Majuj. Okay. Okay. Because the Dan is going to really open up. Yeah. So, uh, let's just cover this this, this first nation. Yeah. Okay. Inshallah. Hata ida balaga matle ashams. Now, on the planet Earth... There is a protection from the sun. Mm. Now, even if there isn't, let's assume the hottest place on the planet sure. or place where there is some sort of a, a breakup of some sort of mesosphere or ozone or, or, or whatever layer which protects us from the sun. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's pretty easy to, to get out of their place yeah. or to do something about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if we take the Maghrib Shams meaning, we'll have to take the Matla Shams meaning here as well. That the, when the star is taking birth, when the star is uh, be, be, being born. And uh, by the way, we missed out on the Maghrib Shams in Surah Yasin. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us yeah. that every star is moving towards its, 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 yeah, its destination. Its destination. Yeah. And that's something which we can easily corroborate yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Mustaqarrilla shamsu wa tajri mustaqarrillaha. And we know the Quran itself is saying that you know they're moving toward their 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 their, yeah. their, their final part of the destination, yeah. the journey, the death. Which is definitely cannot be explained by their rotation, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It has yeah, to be a, a, a linear journey. Yeah. So uh Hatta Balaga Matla Ishams means then he went for the to the place which was close to the nebula or wherever the sun is going to be born. Yeah. Uh, and when the sun is born or when a star is being born, naturally the place which you know, that's one of the meanings. The one of the meanings. And is, there are millions of nebulas. Oh yeah, so yeah. Sun has come from one of the one nebulas. of them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the one meaning that is very clear here. One of the meanings. There are two meanings which are totally clear, and the third meaning which is not clear. We'll also talk about that. The first meaning is when the, the star takes birth, it is at its such a certain level of whatever radioactivity is going that there is no planet around it which can actually cover through any ozone that it has to stop that radiation. Mm. And that's what the people are saying. We are not getting any protection from this, this thing, that this star that we have. Mm. Do something about it. Because at this time, this, this is a place which is close to the the, the birthplace of the sun. Okay. And when the, the star takes birth, science till date does not know what kind of a mission is coming yeah. out of there. Yeah. Because when it comes to a certain point in its own lifetime, yeah. that's what we see our sun doing from yeah. hydrogen to helium and, you know, yeah. converting ferrous into ferric. Yeah. So at that time, the plasma, maybe they're so close and the plasma is all over the place. Yeah. Or maybe the heat is too much. Yeah. Or maybe the light is too much mm. because light is too much means that planet is not rotating around its own axis. Mm. Or cause I don't take that meaning because then they can travel to the other part yeah. of the planet. Yeah. So, but you know, if, you know, it's not so easy for people to just take off and just, but yeah. that's not. You know, I think it took us a thousand you, and thousands of years to go to the other side of the planet. Yeah. We all should know that. I think you should talk more first more about why it's not the people on this earth. Yeah, but I was going to save it for the last, but okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's just talk about that. The, the, I like the first thing is like, if there's a place like this, as you said, on earth where there's no cover from the sun and it's impossible for the inhabitants of that area to survive in that place, they can all, always migrate. And the mass migrations or, or have been happening about it. Let's throughout the assume, centuries. Even because he says there were no sealing the roofs of the yeah. of those people. They had yeah. walls. Yeah. They had walls. Yeah. But no roofs. No roofs, yeah. That's what the Bika says. Yeah. Okay. That's one way of looking at it. Yeah. But uh, why can't they just go behind the walls? Yeah. Or 
they knew what the wall say. structure is. They just did not have the sense to, you know, put a horizontal, you know, ceiling on top. It's okay. It could happen. Yeah. It could happen. The question is, get out of there. Yeah. What does Ulkanan do? Teach yeah. them how to put a ceiling on top of a four uh, walls? Yeah. You know, that's, yeah. that's not like a king to me here. Yeah. You know, but let's just assume that it was. Mm. But that's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is that these people on this planet, we're just keeping this, yeah. these people yeah. on the planet. These people were in a place where there was absolutely no cover from the radiation of the sun. Yeah. Okay? No so, sky. Yeah, it has no to. No atmosphere. No, atmosphere. Yeah. no, no, no. That's, that's, uh, that's not this planet because this planet, oh, how come those people are breathing if they don't that's what, that's, that's the point he's making that since there's no place like this, yeah. now we have to go out of it, the earth. It has the atmosphere because, uh, yeah. you know, people were, because if you're putting these people on this planet, we have to put all three people on the planet because there are three people here. Yeah. The one that he just met, yeah. the one he's going to meet. Yeah. This is the second people that he just met. Older Mufasirun had put all these nations on earth by the way. Yeah, all of them, all of them. Yeah. So how come these people in the middle, all of a sudden on the same earth were still in a place where there's no atmosphere? Yeah. Or 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 let's just assume that there is no atmosphere. While that on, becomes on the same, even more fun. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Then Zulkarnain went up and put some atmosphere there. Yeah. He still has to go up. Yeah. To do whatever he could yeah. to put some atmosphere. But we there. know that few hours back. There were still some people who, who didn't have an atmospheric problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They were so, living there. Yeah. And the next people will also have atmosphere. Yeah. So this is east. Yeah. So there was no atmosphere in the in east. The west. Or, uh, no, no, this is east. Yeah, According to them, east. this is the east. Yeah. Matla yeah. Yeah. So the real question is uh, that even if they did not have any protection from the sun, what did he do? Yeah. What did he do? He, we, we, did, yeah. we do not have anything. Uh, which which says uh, anything about what Zulkarnain did? Yeah. Subhanallah. Because in next ayah it says, "So it was," and we truly had full knowledge of him. Yeah. So the question is, what kind of problem can human beings have? Human beings on this planet, where they will say we do not have any protection from sun. So uh, we know that. Uh, these these are the I mean there are so many narrations in the hadith about this since they're we known as weak so I'm not going to go there but it's uh it's it's a problem we better solve here because uh we're talking about Zulkanain and the Dajjal here and Surah Kaf. You can't just you know leave it for later because later the Dajjal is coming. So there's not gonna be uh the better time to disco discover the meaning than this. So understand uh, if we put Sababa in the heavens, it makes perfect sense that there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a planet where the sun was too close. Mm. Sababa means a portal that led uh, to the black hole where the sun was setting and another and direction towards the, the nebula, nebula. Where yeah. the sun was coming up and then there were many planets there and we saw people and then, uh, and he, we know that already through the Quran, there is a possibility of many planets. Oh, yes. And people. Yeah. Through the Hadith creatures. in the Quran, there are different people. Yeah, In the Quran also, yeah. there, there is a mention of many creatures. Yeah. Many creations. Yeah, that's the question we didn't cover. The the aliens. Yeah. Spread them between. We never covered and different uh, living beings in different because we, we, we should have yeah. covered that in the, in the yeah. context. But I mean, this is a general yeah. consensus. And the word used in that particular ayah is Daba. Daba, Daba. yeah. That is a living thing. Yeah. Akil. Flesh and blood thing. Yeah. Intelligence. It's not yeah. a spiritual being. Yeah. 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 No, the word minhum means akil. Min, minhum means, yeah. For, uh, that means uh, with brains. Yeah. So, uh, minhum doesn't mean with brains. Mm. The fact that the pronoun hum is used, yeah. which means that these, these were. Uh, By the way, there's also conscious. this. At another point, Quran says that we have made you better. Among a lot of creation, right? Surah Bani Sail, Ayat yeah. 70. Yeah. Surah Bani Sail, Ayat 70 says that we've given you, uh, we've made you better than most of what we have created. Most of, yeah. Most of the creations. Yes. That means not all of them. Not all of them, yeah. Most of them. Yeah. And uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is talking directly to Bani Adam at that time. Mm. So we, we should know that uh, the Quran is pointing right towards uh, all of these concepts and we better get our heads around that.
So, uh, so he went to a place where there is no atmosphere, or maybe the sun is the star is too close. Yeah. Uh, and whatever he did with them, maybe he spun their planet out. Maybe I don't know, but <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It could be, yeah, because this guy has some serious power. Yeah. Now he could have put the whole planet into a totally different spin. In a habitable zone. <laughs> yeah, in the Goldilocks zone. Yeah. Or 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 could be anything. Yeah. So uh uh this is something which is uh which is one of the most interesting parts because yeah. uh the next people will not have any other problem which are inter uh uh celestial level. They will be having a problem with Yajud Majud. So let's just uh yeah. Keep it till here, yeah. Uh, because uh, it says Summa Atabha Sababa again, again, and, and yeah. uh, that's the last of his journeys, and then that's, that's where the real, real peak of the Surah Kaf comes into place because that's the connection between Zulkarnain and Yajud Majud, and then Yajud Majud is connected to the time of Isa al Islam. Isa al Islam is connected to uh, the Jal, and that's why we know that when Yajud Majud is going to come. They're going to use these sort of sababas or portals or pathways, which Zulkanan is about to close in the next few ayahs. So stay, stay tuned. Inshallah, we'll cover that. And uh, in the next uh, episode, in the most right. exciting thing. Till this point, we have covered uh, till ayah number 91. Yeah. Inshallah, from next, uh, in our next session, we'll be starting from ayah number 92.